We've got the car that you want, a 2014 Shelby GT500. Uh, it's got the colors, the features, dyno tuned at 750 horsepower at the rear wheel, only 15,000 miles. The car's practically like brand new. You can go to volocars.com where you can see our complete inventory with descriptions, pictures, price tags, and even monthly payments. That's at volocars.com. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, this is the one that you want, the 2014. Uh, they made some nice changes with the uh, headlights and the projector headlights, the sequential tail lights, different uh, front end. And this is the last year, the 5.8 liter, the big engine. They actually got smaller after this. Uh, it's nearing the end of a stick shift. I don't know what the, the last year was, but this is a very desirable sought after car. And it's in the color that that you guys are all looking for as well. So let's check it out. A deep impact blue, that's what it is. Never been painted, clean Carfax, all in great shape. It has the white over the top racing stripes. Uh, that was an option. The rear spoiler, the whole rear panel, all this is in excellent shape. And remember, these are LED sequential lights, has the quad tips with the Ford script on it. Now, all of this is pristine, no rock chips, nice little mini mud flap to keep the rock chips away. All fantastic, beautiful blue in person. It's almost like a pearly blue. Uh, it does have that sticky edge guard right here uh, to keep from getting chipped. All in excellent shape. I don't see any nicks or chips. A little dirt right there. This is all in great shape. It's all straight, no damage, no dents. Body and paint's looking really sharp. I don't even see any rock chips or anything like that on the front end. There's a little tiny imperfection. A little, a little stone must have bounced off. There's like two little tiny little nicks right there. Yeah, body and paint is fantastic. So it's got these 20-inch Ferrara wheels, if I'm saying it correctly. It has a nice polished rim with the uh, silver centers, Continental, uh, high con extreme contact sport tires. I think they're 19 inch. I love the Cobra emblem here, 5.8 supercharged, 900 horsepower, because that's actually what it is at the motor. Dyno tuned at 750 at the rear wheel, or just under 750. <clears throat> the glass has been tinted, so it's all nice blacked out glass. Yeah, the car's looking really sharp. The, the black uh, under the front there, a few little nicks on that. I mean, it's only that high off the ground, just on the edge. It's not beat up at all, but it is a little bit nicked up there. So why don't we open it up? I'll read you a list of extras. It's got a bunch of extras. We'll show you inside the car and the motor. So it has a keyless entry for the trunk compartment. It's still carpeted and painted. It's like brand new. I noticed this little X. That's an assembly line marking. That's where the worker would start, you know, in the middle and work his way around with the weather strip. And it does have a nice embroidered carpet mat. That would be an accessory because it is carpeted underneath it. And underneath the floorboard, Look how immaculate that is. They don't give you a spare, they give you a tire compressor. And it does have dual upgraded electric fuel pumps. Those were those little boxes you seen there. Now let's get inside the car. We have a buy it now button on our website. If you see something you really like, just get it locked in before somebody else steals your dreams. So the door jams and the weather strips, it's all mint condition. The door panels practically look brand new. This does have the blue mood lighting inside. I also noticed the SVT sill plate lit up when I opened the door. Everything in here is really in excellent shape. Uh, it has 15,000 miles on it. This also uh, has the big screen with the navigation system, the shaker stereo. Looks like you can play CDs, dual zone 
climate. I like the uh, Shelby shifter ball here. Center console, you see the blue move lighting. Got an extra compartment here. Leather wrapped e-brake handle. Now it does have optional Recaro. Look at these sport seats. They're leather with the white racing stripes. There's uh, suede material, it's an embroidered uh, Cobra on each seat. And the back seats are done to match. And I don't see any issues in here. I don't see any rips, tears, cracks, damage. It's all in excellent shape. Headliner's excellent. Uh, does have fancy steering wheel with the uh, suede trim and controls and the Cobra in the middle. Also has WeatherTech floor mats down on the floor too. And one important feature that I forgot to mention is the uh, track pack that this car has. It's a very desirable option. And shut the door so we don't have to listen, listen to the dinger. Yeah, it's got the stripes on the side. So this is a 5.8 liter. I think they went back down to a 5.4 after this uh, here. Uh, supercharged. And this guy actually went into the motor with some nice upgrades. A lot of people put bolt-on stuff on, but this has upgraded cams. The, the heads have been reworked. And right now I'm looking for my list, and you can see everything's done neatly. It's all clean. Here's a receipt here for 2800 bucks for the cams. It's got a custom tune. Uh, 123 millimeter big cold air intake. Uh, twin jet 67 millimeter throttle body. Uh, double bearing idler. Uh, different pulley on the supercharger. Inside it does have a short throw shifter. Uh, different injectors, the fuel pumps with a plug and play, shorty headers. Uh, so it's got some nice, nice upgrades in the engine compartment. And again, it's super clean. So now uh, Caleb's going to take you for a drive. Hopefully uh, he keeps it out of the ditches. guys we're in the 14 GT500 uh, this thing's pushing around 750 wheel horsepower uh, it's tuned it's got a couple different tunes on it but it's tuned relatively conservative for the build uh, it's definitely capable of more but anyway we're gonna take it around the block show you guys how it drives we're rolling in at uh, just over 15,000 miles we're at 15,000 65 currently put a couple miles on it only uh, drives phenomenal I did drive this around before uh, just to check it out and uh, I could not find anything wrong with it drives real smoothly even with all the modifications that are done it's a very streetable car obviously that's what it was built uh, built for rides pretty good it has the SVT track pack on it uh, you can change the uh, steering and your damping on the coilovers on the side of the, with the push of a button. Let's see what she's got. We'll open her up a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were going fast, guys. <laughs> this thing just takes off. I wasn't even watch shifting it, so uh, I was probably three quarters throttle, and it kept wanting to go. So point being, this thing will get you where you need to go very, very quickly. Uh, beast of a car, 
Love the exhaust system on it. It's all custom, but it's set up nicely. It sounds really good. Shifts through the gears nicely. Uh, the clutch is firm, but it grabs at a great point. Uh, feels really good going through the gears on it. This does have the upgraded navigation on it too. Uh, so the shaker audio system is here. Obviously everything works. Boy, you ain't put a it up. Bad. Uh, you can customize this as well as the digital dash up here in the center uh, in between your speedometer and your tachometer. You can change the options. Right now I have it on an electronic boost gauge, so it's showing me my boost pressure. But yeah, there's no weird vibrations or anything like that. It drives straight. It's got the Ferrata uh, wheels and with the Extreme Continental contact tires on it. Uh, they're quiet. They grip to the road real good. This is definitely a good tire for this car. Uh, now the car is capable of more, so if you uh, if you're daring enough, you want to get it retuned, you can and put it to its full potential. But there you have it. Uh, one of the most baddest uh, Shelby's being the last year of the manual, the biggest motor, and it's got all the right upgrades. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the test drive. There is some Velcro on the headlights. He has some airbrushed cat's eyes headlight <coughs> covers. The Velcro would peel right off if you didn't like that. So underneath the car is in really nice clean condition. Like I was saying, it has the <coughs> SVT performance track pack that gives you a dampening suspension. And I tell you what, I didn't even name half the stuff under here. I couldn't memorize it all. It is all listed on our website specifically, uh, all the work that's been done, but it's all high quality work high quality parts that went into this. Uh, the headers are ceramic coated. It does have a custom exhaust. I've seen a receipt for about $1,500. Uh, it's a Ford racing exhaust, stainless steel. Also has upgraded brakes. They're big Brembo uh, calipers, look like six piston with drilled and slotted uh, rotors. And uh, everything underneath the car is looking really nice and clean and proper. So yeah, really nice, really desirable car. This is, again, the one that people want. This is you know, a collectible car. Go to volocars.com for all the information. Talk to the salesman, they'll answer whatever questions you still have, including we can help get it delivered to your door and we can help you with the financing. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon and you'll be notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.